Hi, Rich Karuba for BowlingBall .com. Hey, I just came up with an idea and I wrote an article about it and I want to talk to you about it. Now I call it the 10 drill for bowling practice. The 10 drill. And what does that mean? Well, if you're a fairly new bowler and you're now just taking the game seriously and you want to, uh, you know, work on the fundamentals and the keys uh, and you want to do it consistently, you want to have some kind of plan or outline for when you go down to bowl two or three games of practice, hopefully more, uh, and you can work on some important fundamentals to help uh, improve your bowling approach, to help you make more consistency in your deliveries and so on. Uh, some of the keys you can focus on, uh, you want to think about taking uh, 10 deliveries for each of these uh, things that you focus on. First of all, maintain an athletic posture all through your approach. When you set up on the, on the approach, uh, you, almost everyone has a good balance when they set up. Most of the people might stand uh, too tall if they make a mistake at all. In other words, straight up and down with no knee flex. You might want to lean forward 10 degrees, flex your knees, get down one inch lower than you, your normal height, and uh, try to avoid, stay in that position all the way through the foul line as you walk to the foul line and while you're delivering the ball. If anything, you get a little lower because your knees flex more as you're walking. But you don't want to thrust your upper body around. Stay steady. 10 deliveries working on good upper body posture as you walk to the foul line. The next 10 deliveries, you want to focus on keeping your footwork consistent. You don't hurry the pace of your steps. You don't want to uh, uh, accelerate the final two steps. Particularly, you want to make sure each approach has the same amount of elapsed time from the moment you begin the approach to the moment you complete your slide. And that gives your arm swing time to match up as well. You link them together, what do you have? Good timing. Number three, you want to take 10 deliveries to begin your arm swing uh, in, the, in the direction that you do uh, before your first step if you're taking a four-step approach. Uh, sometimes people will take that step before they move the ball, and that makes your timing a little late. If you can move the ball gradually and then step after it, uh, and you can organize it together uh, and get consistent with that trigger, that beginning of your approach, uh, which some people call a push-away movement, it might be just dropping the ball down into the swing or shaping it down into the swing. Do it with very little arm tension as if you're handing your bowling ball to a small child. That's a good tip. Work on that for 10 deliveries and do it consistently in relation to your first step. Uh, the next 10 deliveries, um, you want to practice swinging your bowling ball along your intended swing path. And that means on your back swing and, of course, your forward swing toward your desired swing path. Sometimes they're not the same. Sometimes the back swing's perfectly straight. Bowlers will tuck it in slightly. Could happen because of the way they walk to the foul line or intentionally tuck the ball inside uh, one or two inches from the direction it went back at the top of the back swing. And then you can allow that ball, if you throw a hook delivery, to go from inside outside path, a target path from when the ball leaves your hand down the lane through past your sighting target to the break point. And then, of course, it hooks back to the pocket. That's the game plan anyway. So you want to work on these things and make sure that you're swinging the ball back and forward towards your target path uh, through the releasing area each and every time as consistently as possible. Your direction that you release the ball is important through your sighting target. And then finally for 10 deliveries, I like to see everyone hold their form at the foul line and stay very still until you release the ball and after the ball's gone maybe two and a half seconds. Uh, two and a half seconds might be the, all the time it needs for the ball to leave your hand and make contact with the pins. But if you don't stay stationary like you're posing for a picture uh, after you deliver the ball, at least stay steady for maybe one second or slightly less until the ball passes your sighting target on the lane. That will help you achieve good balance. It will build good discipline uh, and releasing the ball at the foul line. It builds good awareness of where your sighting target is. Uh, and all these things tied together, if you practice them for 10 deliveries apiece, you know, a couple games of bowling, and you rehearse it each time you practice, it's going to help remind you of the keys to use in competition. They're going to help you produce those good scores you're looking for. Hope these tips help. Thank you.